Bonneville is the great mechanical circus. It's a place for science, technology, it's for engineering, it's for dreams and pioneering spirit that's still alive in the great American Wild West. But all the ponies, they're under the hood. There have been tens of thousands of runs, over 200, 300, and 400 miles an hour. All the people in motorsport, they come here to Bonneville because they ask the question and answer it with every run. And that question is, how fast will it go? This event right today is the hundredth running of the Bonneville Salt Flats. Not a one of these people have come out here for money, for some kind of championship, they come out here to get their name in a record book. They're all amateurs, and they're the fastest people on earth. It's a love, it's a passion. It's what Bonneville is. Being the fastest, being the best, it's in our blood. I'm the driver of the world's fastest modified diesel truck. They currently hold the record at 228.802 miles an hour. It's ridiculous, it's silly, it's obtuse, but in its own way, it's doing what they say can't be done, which is what Americans love to do. It's a Honda CRX. It's a little grocery getter, and these things are mostly known to be econo boxes. This thing now is not fuel efficient anymore. It gets about an average of three miles per gallon, but it puts out up to 900 horsepower. Don't forget that these are mechanical people. These are highly technical things that they do. They've got to make sure the car stays on the ground. They've got to make sure the power that the engine makes goes through the transmission, doesn't break the transmission. They have to make sure that it's got good lubrication. They have to make sure the fuel that they put in this thing will be the right mix, that it won't blow the engine up. All of these systems have to come together and work. We thought we were going to be able to get our record on the short course, which was 226 mile per hour, but we were one mile per hour short. Going from 225 mile per hour to 226 mile per hour can actually be very difficult. We had basically hit the point where our power was matched by the aerodynamic drag. So you have to overcome the drag, which as you go up in speed, the drag gets exponential. We're looking at the engine data to make sure that we have the power, and hopefully we'll break a record at least one. We've got a very good chance at it. On data, on the long horse, it'll be about a 227 and a yes. half. New record. There's a misconception that, oh, it's so easy to drive in a straight line. But baby, when you're going 300 miles an hour, I want you to stay in a straight line. As you go faster, the aerodynamic forces change. You've got to be ready for it. When you start touching that barrier that you've never touched before, you better have designed for the impossible. And then once it comes, you better know what to do with it. Every land speed racer is the director of a fine symphony. And every time you hear a car, truck, or motorcycle out there, that is the song of Bonneville. It is the song of speed. The next year I went up and stood in front of the track where you launch, looked down the track, and there was no sense of any fear or trepidation. That's when I had in mind to come back and do it again. Welcome out to the Bonneville Salt Flats.